I first met Roy Johnson in 2008, just a few years after beginning to collect and restore vintage Gillette razors. Author Phil Crummeltz had told me that this amazing collector that he had collaborated with was living right here in Phoenix, Arizona. Going to his house for the first time was like taking a trip into a time machine. Because he had collected safety razors and memorabilia of all types for over 40 years, I had the opportunity to learn from one of the most knowledgeable in the community. Roy was a husband, father, Green Beret, entrepreneur, owner of a sports promotion company, and Gillette Salesman of the Year in 1960. There was only one given on the West Coast, and then there was one in the center and one on the East Coast. So I think there was only four of those trophies that they were given out. And uh, fortunately I had one. In his life, he did many great things, traveled the country and passed on his knowledge to all who have touched the Gillette Collector's Handbook and even inspired the creation of Razor Emporium. I visited and worked with Roy often and had the opportunity to sell many safety razors and collectibles in the process. I can't begin to tell you the amount of stories, history, and lessons that I learned from this great man in my six short years of knowing him. It was a tremendous feeling working for Gillette. I uh, was quite proud of the fact that I worked for them. And you were made, you know, their salesman of the year. Yeah, yeah. Well, before that came sales of the month. <laughs> but, uh... I want the Razor community to hear this story and learn his lessons. So much of what we do here at Razor Emporium has been influenced by Roy. He passed the torch on to us, and we'll work hard to pass it on to you. I think he'd like that.